Well, I've got more of your stories now. This is the morning rush. A grand jury, uh, a grand jury has indicted a man from Woodland Park following the insurrection at the U.S. Capitol in Washington. Robert Robert Gieswein has a preliminary hearing today on six charges. He is accused of assaulting and intimidating Capitol police officers. They say he used a baseball bat. Prosecutors say he is affiliated with a militia group, the Three Percenters. A judge ordered him to stay in custody. Police say that the driver of an RTD bus was responsible for a crash that sent one person to the hospital. The crash happened about 6.30 Thursday at US 36 and Broadway in Adams County. Shut down the eastbound lanes of North Pecos for nearly an hour. It is not clear if there were passengers on the bus or if the driver was sighted. Today, Loveland, loved ones will hold a memorial service for a Westminster firefighter who died after he battled work-related cancer. Captain David Sagal passed away on Sunday. Flags have been lowered to half-staff to honor his life and legacy. Sagal served as a firefighter for 34 years. A second woman has died after a crash involving a Denver fire truck last weekend. Denver Fire says the truck had its lights and sirens on and slowed down as it entered the intersection at Broadway and Spear. Monica Charles was killed in the crash. Deborah Williams died from her injuries yesterday. A third person in the car was severely injured. The head of Colorado's Republican Party is not going to try to unseat Democratic Senator Michael Bennett next year. Congressman Ken Buck tweeted that he will not run for the Senate. He lost the U.S. Senate race to Bennett back in 2010. Buck previously said he would not seek a second term as the state's Republican Party chairman this year either. That's your Morning Rush.